the idea of the show uh, I, I came up with um, because I work with paper, old magazines, and so I wanted to uh, invite some other people who are working with paper but in a different way uh, to come together and have an exhibition uh, featuring different ways to use paper in making artwork. So what I have done is this series of what I call pop art. It's um, a pop, uh, popular media images and um, I use old magazines to collage um, figures and scenes and reconfigure them onto, in this case, wood cradles. Um, I felt my influence for this particular body of work was definitely Andy Warhol in that he used images from the popular media and uh, was able to present them in a unique way that people seem to respond to. Uh, and that's sort of what I have tried to do, uh, take images that are, are in the public domain and uh, through collage, try and present them in a slightly different way than we have seen before. Uh, yes, well, the theme of the show is, is paper and all things uh, on or working with paper. Um, I've been a fashion designer all, all of my uh, adult career. And um, when I retired, uh, decided that I would try some two-dimensional work. Um, working with this paper, which is a 100% cotton rag. It's recycled cotton rag. And um, I love the weight of it. I love the texture of the paper. It's very resilient. And um, I sand it, scratch it, kick it, and throw it in the bathtub, and do it all over again. Uh, and it just keeps coming back for more. So I, I, I really enjoy uh, working with this paper. Um, the images are... Uh, built up using ink. I use a, a, a carbon-based ink with an emulsion and I separate the emulsion from the carbon and then use a French ink, uh, the brand is Sennelier, and I use those inks to create my colors with the emulsion from the carbon-based black ink. In this piece, um, I've mixed in some graphite. I don't like the powdered graphite that you can buy. It doesn't work for me too much. It's just too much of a powder. So I buy the water-soluble graphite pencils and I just grate them on a cheese grater so I get a nice granule uh, um, graphite and mix it in with the ink, rub it into the paper, work with the ink, bathe it in the bath, wash it, take it out, add more medium and just keep building the the, uh, the layers up. But my fashion background comes in with three, in terms of three dimension. I had a problem just working on flat two-dimensional planes. So I wanted to add some architectural type elements where I could activate space within the, spe within the piece and still basically have a wall hanging piece. So these pieces, um, as you can see, I've torn the pieces. The structure of the backing uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a line construction using slatted wood, which I, I attach the rebar to, and then a slat over top of that, which mounts it to the, to the cradle panel. And, and, and that's the process of the piece. And other things I like to do, working in three dimension with paper, since the theme of the show was um, paper, I thought, well, I would just do a classic uh, uh, paper mache uh, piece. And this bowl is created uh, with um, brown paper towel that you find in any public washroom, and the classic paper mache flour and water. And then I found this lovely chalk paint, which gives this lovely warm white and, and, uh, and, and, and that's uh, another use of paper. 
uh, in really true three-dimensional form. So uh, I was really pleased with that. And then over here, um, this piece is again this 100% cotton rag paper um, mounted off of the cradle panel to create a sense of space and to activate that space I've created or cut the holes into the paper uh, and it's really all about finding beauty in, in decay um, that, that in a sense uh, death is a form of living um, and this piece here again the 100% the uh, cotton rag paper um, uh, creating a very uh, like, a, like a steel plate, an old weather steel plate and this was an image that came into my mind being in Toronto um, uh, I'm originally from Toronto um, at the Union Station in Toronto on Front Street where they're refurbishing the uh, subway system and um, it's all decayed and uh, broken down and smashed apart while they do this work and I just found myself at the intersection of, of, of blood and beauty which is the, the, the title of the piece and the insert that creates this activation of space is a, um, is a brass, just a brass plate that I found here at a salvage yard in, in Victoria. And, and that's, um, that's, that, that's pretty much uh, what I do or have done for this, for this show.